While I'm waiting for Scarlett to wake up, I wanted to share this because I just got myself ready and I'm so excited to put some of these on with you guys later. Um, I got all of these matte liquid lipsticks in from Dime Beauty. If you guys have not heard of this brand, I am so excited to share and partner with them for today's video because they are an amazing vegan, cruelty-free skincare and beauty brand. I've actually been using their skincare line recently and I really like it. They have a bunch of really good products. When Scarlett goes to school, I'm going to come home and do like a little try-on with you guys of these lipsticks and figure out which colors I'm really liking because you guys always seem interested in the lip color that I'm wearing so I thought it'd be fun to share this today. Okay, since I said I was using their skincare too, I wanted to quickly share. Also, my shelves are completely bare because I have everything taken down for the movers. Um, but these are the products that I'm using for my skincare. But I've been using the Gentle Jelly Cleanser. I have the Restorative Night Cream, the Dewy Day Cream, the Hyaluronic Acid. This has been great. This locks in moisture and just helps keep your skin um, like super moisturized, which I need. So I love that. A Hyper Glow, which is just another type of serum. And then also this Luminosity eye serum. So this is what I've been using for my skincare and I'm really happy with how it's been. Um, I think it's been about two to three weeks since I've started using this. Hey guys, good morning. It is 6.45 in the morning. I've been up since five. I've been... <laughs> I've been having trouble sleeping and I think it's just all of the excitement with moving. I have been waking up at like 4 or 5 in the morning and I can just not go back to sleep. So today I decided to just get up, get myself together, get myself ready for the day, be productive. And I've enjoyed some coffee. It's super cool out because it rained last night so it's really nice. I opened the windows and I'm just kind of enjoying my last couple of days here in the apartment. But this is going to be my last vlog in the apartment before all of the crazy moving stuff happens. It has been a wonderful year living by myself with Scarlett, living a single parent life, co-parenting with Ty. I love my alone space. I love my alone time. I've loved living alone, but I am beyond ready to put my family back together and start this new chapter of our life. But yeah, it's just crazy. This is going to be my last vlog here. The other day I went back to when I was first moving into the apartment and I um, watched some of those videos and it's crazy how different things are now and how different, like how much I've learned about myself and um, about how to be in a relationship. It's been a wild ride to say the least, but it is time, it is time to be a family again. Yesterday we did the walkthrough on the house and they have a few things they have to fix, but overall there wasn't really any major things we need to fix. Everything's working really well, and yeah, we get keys on Friday. So, two days, two more days. Oh my goodness. Sorry, the milk's dripping. It's alright. I love that you want me to hold you. She never asked me to do this. I love that you wanted me to hold you while you drink the milk. Don't smell your breath. Oh, my breath smells like coffee? Yeah. Sorry, I need to brush my teeth. I'm sorry, I have to get something oh, okay. quickly before I waste you. Okay. Yeah, Scarlett just woke up and she came to me and said, because usually she lays down and like lays in my bed or something and drinks a cup of milk. But today she came to me and she said, Mom, can, I, can you hold me while I drink my milk? And this never happens. I don't remember the last time she asked me to do this. So my heart's really happy right now. <laughs> This part so cool life. What a time to be alive. Lately, I've been dancing on my own. Scarlett's eating an apple for breakfast. I just got her dressed. Um, I wanted to share. You guys recommended these. Um, I think they're called name bubbles. I'll link them. But they're uh, stickers that go on like kids' water bottles or whatever, and they don't come off in the washer. They've been awesome. So she has to have her name on her water bottle. So that's why I got these and I love them. I've washed this cup multiple times and this is not coming off. So highly recommend if you're needing some kind of Mommy. label for your kids. Mommy, yes. will the sticker come off if you wash it? Nope, it stays on. Forever? Forever. But will we move all of our cups? We are going to move all our cups. She keeps asking me, are we going to move this? Are we going to move this? We are. Are you excited to move? Yes, Dad, that's not going to put any of because I love that. 
You can give him a hug. It's really sweet. Oh, okay, she already took off her ring. We're down to two days left. Um, my mom FaceTimed us and we did that with her. So that's what we've been doing, talking to grandma on the phone. But anyways, we're gonna get shoes on and go to school. It's nine o'clock, I'm home. I took Scarlett to school and then I stopped by a salad and go because I wanted to grab a salad for like later today for lunch or dinner. But what I really wanted was this breakfast burrito. Their breakfast burritos are so good at salad and go. I get the Fiesta, so yummy. So I'm gonna eat this really fast. Their salsa is also really good. I'm at that point in moving where um, I'm trying not to buy any more food for the house because we're just gonna be moving it. And I'm trying to go through what we have, but I need a real meal because I've just been eating random things recently just to clear out our fridge. Also, I was gonna say, I got my hair done yesterday and I love what she did. Um, I had her keep like my natural root. This uh, kind of like darker blonde up here is my natural root color. And I'm kind of trying to just, to just like melt it down into my blonde and kind of like balayage it a little bit. Um, so I just had her frame my face with highlights and then just kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, melt it. So that's what she kept saying. I don't know like the correct terms, but I really, really like it. I like the dimension it adds and the grow out for this really helps too because I'm naturally darker back here and lighter around my face. But yeah, I'm really happy like, with the color. I feel like it's a really good fall transition color too. Okay, I just had my breakfast burrito and now that I've eaten my burrito, I want to try on all of my lip gloss colors. So I'm gonna pick like a bold and then like an everyday and then maybe like a few other colors that um, I wanna just try on to see if I like. But I really love this brand and I think you guys will too. They make clean, luxurious products all for affordable prices, so definitely check them out. And don't forget to use my code for 20% off too. But let's go ahead and start with something safe, something I'd wear like every day. I always go for like a nudie pink color, so let's give this one a shot. I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is the color Leo. And this would be something I would wear every day. I love this color. I love how subtle it is. Let's go a little bolder. Okay, this one's a little bit more um, purple, which I do like a purple color too. Keep in mind, I'm putting these on so fast. Oh my gosh, this color is everything. I love this. This is like the perfect fall color. Wow, that's pretty. This is the color Zach. So this would be like a good like going out kind of girls night out date night or something kind of color i don't want to take this one off i love this one you guys this is not coming off and that is a great thing <laughs> this is like staying on it is not coming off at all i love a lipstick that is long wear and this seems like it is definitely long wear okay now i'm gonna go for a little bit more of a pink color since i've done like a nude a um purpley let's do a pink now down, never come down pretty guys these are awesome i'm like every single one i put on i want to keep on it's like a very flirty color this is the color liam do you guys see how like much i'm rubbing my lips and it's not coming off <laughs> that's amazing i feel like my lips are a little bit stained right now but i am gonna go super super bold now and try this pretty color of um red <laughs> a red lip intimidates me but it's so much fun I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what your favorite color was. Um, there's a bunch of other like neutral colors that are pretty safe um, and I'll continue wearing them throughout my vlog so you guys can see. But these are really good matte lip glosses. Typically I like the shine, but with the bold colors, I think I actually like more of the matte. This I can do. I feel like I could do this. Very happy with those lip glosses. I will keep you guys updated as I wear it throughout the day too. But um, Seriously, I'm gonna have to take this red off because it's a little too much to wear to pick up my kid from preschool, but um, it is really pretty. Anyways, if you guys, again, wanna try Dime Beauty out for yourself, make sure to click the link down below. Also use my code right here to get 20% off your purchase at Dime Beauty. What's up guys? It is 11.45 and I just picked up Scarlett from school. She's, she's kinda sad because she fell. As we were walking to the car, she fell and scraped up her knee and her elbow feeling better? Mommy, mommy. I need those I'm sorry. She got a treasure out of the treasure box today. I think it's like a reward Where's thing. Where's my treasure? What? My treasure! 
All right, we are heading back to the school. I'm gonna see if where she fell, because it, it was in her hand. She got this little like unicorn treasure out of the treasure box. And then she fell and scraped her knee really bad. And I think she had her little treasure in her hand. So yeah, I'm gonna go, did. you did. I'm gonna go see if I can possibly find this little, little tiny unicorn. I feel bad. I feel bad for her, because she really worked hard to earn this treasure. I do too, but if it's not, it's okay. We'll get another treasure sometime, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. You kind of had a rough couple of minutes there. Let's see if we can find it, okay? Okay. I didn't know I dropped that. I didn't know I dropped it in my hand. I know. I think you dropped it when you fell. Found it! <laughs> Okay, I'm not even joking. Nobody's parked here, but of course, the second we pull into the parking lot, somebody's parked right where we were before. And so I look under the car that's parked there and there's this tiny little unicorn. So I get on my hands and knees and grab my shoe to like elongate my arm because I can't reach it. And I'm like swatting my shoe trying to get this unicorn. <sighs> and I finally found it. <laughs> Anyways, crisis averted the things we do for our kids. Anyways, now that that situation has been controlled, we're actually going to Target. I placed a drive up order, so we're just gonna go drive up and grab a few things. Okay, we are home from Target. Oh, I see that little owl dog. Yeah, so I have to share the birthday present we got for her friend Scotland, who is turning six, um, in case you guys are needing some like birthday inspiration. I see him all. Got her this My Little Pony. It's a build your own necklace I want it, kit. I want, I want it. You want something like that? Maybe for your birthday. Look at all the ponies. What are their names? So Pinkie Pie, yeah. Rainbow Dash, and I don't know who this is. You don't know that one? And then we also got LOL doll. An LOL. And then this is, hold on, hold on. This is a, the Scribble Scrubby. It's like those little, uh, um, I, little animals you can color and then you wash them off. Yeah. <laughs> what are those tampons? Yeah. Um, and then I got some shower curtain rod hooks. I got gold ones for Scarlett's bathroom, and then I got the black ones for Ty's bathroom slash the spare bathroom. We we're supposed to go to this birthday party for her friend Scotland this weekend, but we're not going to be able to because of moving. And then we also got in Scarlett's sheets for her bed. Oh my goodness! These are so cute. These are going to go perfectly with my vision oh, for her room. I um, leopards. Leopards? <laughs> we kind of like toyed with the idea of having like a jungle themed room, but then she said she wanted a pink room. So now we kind of get a little bit of both, I guess. It's not really jungle themed, but these are gonna be so cute in her new bedroom. Okay, Scarlett is down for a nap. I sold my kitchen table and chairs. I actually sold it to somebody who is a friend of mine. She actually lives in this apartment complex too, so it works out really well. But I'm gonna break down the table and because I think that's probably going to be the best way to move this because she's actually in like a different building. So I'm going to break down the table and try to do this myself, see how heavy it is, but I'm hoping to give this to her today. Okay, got the table taken apart. Scarlett's supposed to be napping, but she's in her room singing to herself. Um, before I end this vlog today, I'm actually going to do like a quick little home decor haul. I know I just did one, but there's gonna be a lot of these coming up because new house, new stuff, it's all so much fun. Um, so I'm gonna share a few more things that we've recently got for the house. I told you guys in my last vlog I was gonna do this, so here we are. Um, you wanna say hi? Are you so excited to have a backyard again? Anyways, this is all gonna be kind of random. But um, first of all, I got this really cute wooden bowl from Target, it was $25 by Threshold. And I love this because what I'm planning to do, um, just for a little fall decor, I'm going to add the, this Opal House 
uh, as a vase filler with little acorns. Scarlett actually loved these, so we went with the acorns. I'm gonna fill this with the acorns and then I'm gonna put a candle inside and it's gonna be really pretty. Oh my gosh, these pumpkins. <laughs> these pumpkins. These are so cute. Okay, so I shared these on Instagram. I got two of them. They're by Opal House and this is like the light pink color. They come in four different colors, but these are just darling. They're $12 and I think these are so cute. I don't know where they're going, but I saw them and I wanted them and I don't really have any fall decor because I'm super picky with my fall decor, but I liked those. Ooh, this. This is what I want to share with you guys next. Okay, so I don't know where this is going to go yet. This is either going to go in our bedroom by my mirror or by the fireplace, but these little, um, I think it's called Pampas? Pampas? P-A-M-P-A-S. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, Pampas. I think it's Pampas. These are 40 inch pampas grass. Look how pretty those are. So I have four of them. These were $7.99 a piece, which is a really good deal. If you guys have looked into these, these can get expensive. Um, these are from World Market. And then they actually had them displayed in this vase, this really tall, pretty cream vase. And I loved it. And so I bought the whole thing. <laughs> but I think these are so pretty and they're gonna make a really nice decor somewhere, wherever it goes in my house. Um, I'm thinking this will probably go in our bedroom, but we will see. All right, and then this stuff is also from World Market. This is all bathroom stuff. They have really cute like hand towels and rugs and stuff like that. I love shopping World Market um, and they're good prices. So for our bathroom, Ty and I's bathroom, like the main bathroom, I got these towels. I think they're really pretty. I needed to replace our towels. Um, they're like little triangles, texture. It's like a um, tan color, so I think these are super cute. Oh, and then I got matching hand towels too um, for Ty Nye's bathroom. And then for Scarlett's bathroom, her bathroom's gonna be kind of like a, uh, I don't know, think sunshine. <laughs> think sunshine. Her um, shower curtain that I got is beautiful. So, okay, let me talk shower curtains really fast. I had a ton of issues finding the right shower curtain because everything comes standard length like 72 inches i had a lot of trouble finding a cute shower curtain that was longer than 72 inches um, that wasn't custom shower curtains get freaking expensive let me just say that i don't know why things are even made standard length because i never buy standard length i don't buy standard length curtains i don't buy a standard length shower curtains i feel like when you get the longer curtains it just elongates the room and it makes it look way better from a design standpoint and like more appealing to the eye, if that makes sense. That's my personal opinion. But anyways, our showers I think are gonna look better with a longer shower curtain. So I bought 90 inch shower curtains from Etsy and they are so cute. So Scarlett's shower curtain, I'll put a picture right here on the screen. I've ordered, but it's not delivered yet, but it's like a ray of sunshine. It's really cute. So with that shower curtain, I have these towels to match it. They, these like yellow, they look like half suns. Um, these are really really cute and then these uh, hand towels and then her rug is this right here so that's kind of the color scheme we're going for and then gold accents in there it should be really cute but that will be Scarlett's bathroom and then for we have three bathrooms at the house so for the other bathroom I also ordered a shower curtain from Etsy it's from the boho boho decor co or something like that um i'll leave a link to it down below but for this bathroom we went with like a black and white and cream scheme and it's just this black i'm gonna put a picture of it here it's just this black shower curtain with some um white design triangle things on it anyways um i didn't get towels for that bathroom yet i need to order them actually from online because they didn't have the ones i wanted in the store but these are the hand towels how cute are those i love the design i love the texture and then this is the rug for the shower so I really like those I felt like that was a huge win at World Market for all of this stuff anyways guys I still have that lipstick on by the way this is the color Noah that's what I put on after I tried all these other ones on and I really like it there wasn't a lipstick that I tried on from Dime Beauty that I didn't like but um, this one is like staying on really good and I've eaten stuff and it's not coming off <laughs> like the best part um anyways guys i am actually going to end the vlog early today because i just have so much to do i'm actually going to go do a bunch of stuff on my computer and then um ty is going to come over tonight so i can go to the chiropractor and we've been going to bed super early so that is pretty much our day but i wanted to get one more vlog here at the apartment before we actually move which is still so crazy so the next couple videos you guys are going to see are going to be moving vlogs and decorating vlogs 
I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do yet. I think my plan is to um, like give you guys sneak peeks and vlogs and kind of share like behind the scenes, that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna do actual like dedicated room videos or something like that. I don't know, let me know what you guys want to see. Anyways, don't forget to check out the links down below. I link everything that I share in vlogs. Um, so if you guys ever have a question where something's from, check the links. Um, and then also don't forget to check out Dime Beauty and use my code to get 20% off. And I will see you guys in my next one. It's gonna be some fun videos. Bye guys. Bye.